Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Auni Shazana Bidi Zaha and my metric number is 23DBT 19F1035. Today, I will be running the next lab which is Restriction Enzyme Digest. What is Restriction Enzyme Digest? Restriction digestion, also called restriction endonucleus, is a process in which DNA is cut at specific sites dictated by the surrounding DNA sequence. Restriction digestion is accomplished by incubation of the target DNA molecule with restriction enzyme enzymes that recognize and bind specific DNA sequence and cleave at specific nucleotides either within the recognition sequence or outside the recognition sequence. What is restriction enzyme digestion used for? Restriction enzyme digestion is commonly used in molecular cloning technique such as PCR or restriction cloning. It is also used to quickly check the identity of a plasmid by diagnostic digest. This is how I conduct this experiment. Next, set the volume of the P20 micropipette. Select the P20 micropipette. Set the volume and attach a tip to the micropipette. After that, draw up the reaction buffer into the micropipette. Move the restriction buffer to the empty tube rack and open it. Draw up 4 microliter of restriction buffer. Next, pipette the restriction buffer into the K-positive tube. Open the K-positive tube and dispense the buffer into the K-positive tube. Eject the tip into the trash. Moreover, pipette the restriction buffer into the K-negative, A-positive and A-negative tubes. Dispense 4 microliter of restriction buffer into K-negative, A-positive and A-negative tubes. Furthermore, dispense the other solution into the K-positive, K-negative, A-positive and A-negative tubes. Dispense 4 microliter of PKAN-R into K-positive and K-negative tube. Second, dispense 4 microliter of PARA into the A-positive and A-negative tubes.
Next, change the volume of P20 micro pipette to 2 microliter. Dispense 2 microliter of restriction enzyme into the K-positive and A-positive tubes. After that, dispense 2 microliter of distilled water into the A negative and K negative tubes. After that, spins the solution tubes. Open the micro centrifuge. Place the solution tubes in the micro centrifuge and set the micro centrifuge to spin for 10 seconds. Remove the solution. Last but not least, incubate the solution tube at 37 degrees Celsius. Open the water bath, insert the floating solution tube rack into the water bath and set the water bath timer for 1 hour.
Lastly, store the solution tube in the freezer. Open the freezer and place the samples in the freezer.